The Times now follow up the investigations into the intelligence scam. Your channel tracked down the former NTRO chief R.S. Bedi, the very man who set up the National Technical Research Organization. R.S. Bedi is the man who even hired the two NTRO whistleblowers and goes on to vouch for the credibility of the two. He spoke exclusively to Times now on the recruitment and procurement scam. It's really very disturbing as far as I'm concerned to see so much uh, being bandied about, uh, about the organization. And uh, obviously, uh, uh, obviously some things uh, appear to go, uh, have gone wrong. You mentioned two areas. Uh, you mentioned recruitment and you mentioned procurements. Uh, based on, uh, on, on uh, the, um, what has been aired by the channels and what is being stated by various people, etc., etc., um, a certain uh, recruitments at a very, very high level um, appear not to have been in order. Uh, that's my perception. Again, I'm not privy to the inside, but um, uh, officers at that senior level uh, to be appointed have to go through very, very, very set uh, 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 practices and procedures. And uh, if there's been a bypass of those at any stage, um, there must be a very, very good reason for that. Uh, it's not, uh, I'm sure that the officer, officers concerned had that kind of influence. So uh, someone uh, uh, in authority uh, has had that appointment or appointments uh, done and that uh, raises broader questions as to, you know, how and why. Uh, so I believe that uh, some recruitments at very high levels uh, uh, do not quite meet the standards that have been otherwise laid for. That's my belief. Someone uh, from the organization has felt a concern and uh, written a letter uh, to a very high level, you said the NSA. Uh, I would imagine that uh, the concerned gentleman or the, the NSA would have set up some kind of a, a technical committee to go into this very grave kind of um, concern that, uh, that it's a compromised uh, uh, communication system. Because that is a rather important aspect in national security. And it would, should not have gone, uh, shall I say, um, uh, un, unnoticed or untaken care of. So I am only hoping that something, some uh, system was set in place uh, where this was gone into and the concerns expressed by the officer were taken care of. As far as the two uh, gentlemen who are being named, I have served with them and I want to be fair to, you know, uh, to them as well as to the organization that um, as Mittal is one of them as you've been naming him. Uh, he was one of the first um, people I picked up to start up on, uh, on, on a certain area of my charter. And uh, I have to say all in all honesty that uh, he was an extremely competent person in his own uh, sphere of work. Uh, he was extremely hardworking, dynamic, and he helped to, to start up uh, important aspects of the working of that organization. As far as the other officers concerned, I have been seeing on the channels a, a person by the name of uh, Suresh uh, Sharma is mentioned. Suresh Sharma is an expert in his own field, which is um, framing of uh, recruitment rules uh, and work to do with establishment. And I uh, brought him on uh, as uh, the establishment uh, officer to frame uh, rules and regulations um, for the recruitment of um, uh, officer level uh, people. Uh, and uh, again, in his own area, he was um, uh, very competent. He knew the rules and regulations, civil services rules, um, uh, uh, where the uh, recruitment procedures, etc. That's where we started up our uh, recruitment rules, etc. And he was the one. So. Um, uh, while I was there, I had great support from these officers and um, I had no problems, barring normal quirks of 
characters. Uh, so, um, something uh, down the line uh, seems to have uh, triggered off uh, what is happening presently. And that's a great pity because I, I don't know what would prompt someone to, to, to go to those kind of uh, lengths to, uh, to do what they're doing. Well, that's R.S. Bedi, the man who set up NTRO in uh, uh, 2008, speaking exclusively to Times now, saying that he vouches for the credibility of the two NTRO scam whistleblowers. Poonam Agarwal is live with us from the capital for more on the story. Poonam, interestingly, as far as the recruitment scam is concerned, R.S. Bedi goes on to suggest that it is someone only in a higher power who is in authority, who could have bypassed all the codes that have been set. Well, uh, Avril, uh, whatever R.S. Bedi has said in this interview, uh, exclusive interview with Times now clearly indicates to the fact that the complaints which have been given to government and NSA repeatedly in regard to the irregularities on recruitment as well as procurement by NTRO is a serious matter on which the government and the concerned authority should take, uh, should take up and take cognizance of this matter and a proper committee should be set up immediately because NTRO is an organization which deals with technical in uh, intelligence and it's one of the premium agency which was set up by R.S. Bedi way back in 2004. So in this uh, interview, he has clearly mentioned not only about the recruitment scam, which uh, he clearly uh, endorses by saying that somebody in higher-ups actually is going up, uh, going ahead with hiring on such people who actually do not qualify for the post in NTRO. And secondly, if uh, we talk about the procurement, again he has said that the UAVs which were pur purchased with a particular sensors on which questions were raised by one of the whistleblowers, uh, VK Mittal, about the fact that they may not be conducive for our uh, uh, climatic condition. In spite of that complaint, he said that a proper cognizance was required because it's a grave concern. And the second thing he also mentioned about about the fact that the trial on which the NTRO chairperson with other members agreed that the Israeli company should give the trial of these uh, sensors in India rather than anywhere else. In spite of that, this Israeli company went ahead and gave a trial in Australia is also a major concern about which not only NTRO but NSA who was duly informed about it should have also taken a proper notice of it and concerned officer who actually were callous about it should be pulled up and questioned why such things happen. So on these part uh, two particular issues, he is very clear that these are serious affairs and should have been taken up properly by the concerned authority. And the last thing which is very crucial, Averal, is to point out the fact that just two days ago, ago uh, uh, the government... Uh, uh, practically said in the interview uh, that the whistleblowers right. had conflict of interest. That could be the reason why they came out with this uh, complaint. Over here, actually, right. uh, R.S. Bedi is uh, making them uh, stand completely vindicated by saying that these two officers were very competent. Certainly, uh, Poonam, questions had been raised as far as the credibility of the two whistleblowers is concerned by the government. However, R.S. Bedi, the man who hired uh, the two of them, goes on to vote, vouch for for their credibility. Times now tried uh, to get a reaction from uh, uh, the National Security Advisor to whom there are specific questions to which there have been no answers yet. Is it true, first of all, whether or not the NSA received a specific complaint regarding the recruitment procedures? And if yes, what action had been taken by the NSA on that specific complaint? And as the National Security Advisor, the question, was he completely aware of the alleged procurement scam? And also, does he go on to take any responsibility for it? Questions that have not yet been answered.